If you know someone that still doesn't believe the US middle class is literally falling apart, show them this video, because by the end of it, they'll probably have a different opinion. Overall, the long-term trends that have been eviscerating the middle class just continue to accelerate in the past few years. The percentage of middle class jobs has significantly shrunk, while the wealth of the typical American household has fallen precipitously. Homes are still the main asset class, helping American families climb the income ladder. However, the rate of home ownership has been steadily declining as household costs have exploded all across the country. Now, we're seeing millions of middle-class households struggling to keep up with the rising cost of living. And yet, the decline of the U.S. middle class is a crisis we're not properly paying attention to. That's why today, we've compiled 30 statistics that prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that the middle class in America is being systematically destroyed. But before checking this list, please support us by leaving a thumbs up in the video and subscribing to our channel so you don't miss our future lists. Without further ado, here are 30 stats to show to anyone that does not believe the middle class is being destroyed. 1. According to a recent Gallup poll, between May 2021 and May 2022, there was a 10% decline in the number of middle-class Americans who rated their financial situation as good or satisfactory. 2. A report released by Wells Fargo highlighted that middle-income Americans are especially feeling the negative impact of rising living expenses over the past year. In January, the bank noted that middle-class consumers are feeling the biggest squeeze, with inflation half a point higher than those at both the highest and lowest ends of the income spectrum. Three, the report also pointed out that 40% of middle-class Americans said they are very or moderately worried about not having enough money to pay monthly bills. About a third or 34% of middle-class respondents also said they're worried about paying rent, mortgage, other housing costs, and about a quarter, 22%, said they're only making the minimum payment on credit cards. 4. In May, 11.1% of middle-class Americans said they're likely to miss at least one debt payment over the next three months, Federal Reserve data showed. 5. Inflation has actually been squeezing the middle class for decades, but official numbers mask this reality. For instance, everyday expenses for middle and low-income families rose 40% beyond what the consumer price index would indicate, more than wiping out a middle-income worker's gains. 6. Another example of this is that between 2001 and 2020, rents shot up by 150%. At the same time, the official measure of housing costs only grew by a mere 54%. 7. As housing prices soar, middle-class households with median annual incomes of $100,000 can only purchase homes in 36% of the country's markets whose value is below $428,700, and that's assuming they already have a 20% down payment on hand. This also means that the middle class is now locked out of 64% of housing markets, Black Knight data shows. 8. In 2001, a two-income middle-class family would have had on average $4,000 extra to spend after covering their basic needs. Today, by contrast, that same family would have to go $2,000 into debt to sustain a very modest lifestyle, as revealed by a study conducted by the Ludwig Institute for Shared Economic Prosperity, LICEP. 9. According to a conference board survey of middle-class workers, mainly professional and office employees, 
just under two-thirds, or roughly 61.8%, said they are worried about their pay being able to keep up with inflation this year. Damn! According to a new CNBC and Momentive Workforce survey, 66% of American workers say that inflation has outpaced any salary gains they've made in the past 12 months, while 19% say increases in their salary have about matched inflation. 11. At this point, economic pessimism continues to grow in the U.S. Last month, Gallup's Economic Confidence Index measured minus 45, that's down from minus 39 in each of the previous two months. It is the lowest reading since the tail end of the Great Recession in early 2009. 12. On the same note, 38% of middle-class workers said they're worse off financially in April 2022 compared to the same time last year, marking a 6.5% increase. 13. The rising cost of living seems to be the main reason why middle-class workers are feeling financially worse off, the survey highlighted. About a third, or 35% of those feeling financially worse off than a year ago, said this is because of rising prices. 14. Right now, 28% of American workers say they are not well paid, an all-time high, according to a survey published by CNBC. 15. And about 39% of U.S. workers say they have seriously considered quitting their jobs in the past three months. That is the highest level on record, and up 6% from last November. 16. 93% of respondents to a May survey by Pew Research felt that inflation was a very big problem for the country in 2022. 17. The skyrocketing prices of fuel, food, housing, and other necessities are extremely disconcerting to Americans who live paycheck to paycheck. Despite recent wage gains, 64% of the entire population was living paycheck to paycheck in March, meaning that over two-thirds of Americans reportedly said they had little or nothing left at the end of the month after expenses, according to a lending club survey. 18. Even rich people are living paycheck to paycheck. Lending club reported that more than one-third, or 36 percent, of paycheck to paycheck consumers in the U.S. earn at least $250,000 a year, suggesting that inflation is affecting how Americans of all incomes levels handle their budgets. 19. According to the National Institute on Retirement Security, 62% of middle-class Americans are worried about not having enough for retirement. Tyler Bond, the Institute's research manager, said that the U.S. can no longer afford retirement. Middle-class Americans face sharp economic inequality, with ownership of financial assets highly concentrated among the wealthy, Bond said. Now that we have a retirement system largely built around the individual ownership of financial assets in 401k accounts, middle-class Americans are struggling to accumulate sufficient financial assets during their working years. This means the retirement outlook for many in the middle class is bleak at best. 20. A new report from the National Institute on Retirement Security found that the tax breaks designed to encourage Americans' retirement savings disproportionately benefit high-income households and do little to assist middle-class families. More than half of the tax breaks for defined contribution plans, such as 401ks and individual retirement accounts, go to those whose income puts them in the top 10%, the report highlights. 21. 34.6% of all income growth over the past three decades has gone to the top one-tenth of 1% one of all earners. 22. By contrast, the bottom 90% of all earners has collectively seen only 15.9% of all income growth over the same period. 23. 
Pugh also found that over the past 10 years, the richest 5% of Americans saw their median wealth increase by 88%. That's nearly three times the rate of increase experienced by the middle class. 24. A new Federal Reserve Bank of New York report warned that the middle-class consumer base that historically powered America's economy is rapidly eroding as the rate of middle-class jobs shrank from 76% to 64% of the U.S. workforce over the past 30 years. 25. In the 1960s, almost all prime-age men with a high school diploma were working. But today, that number has dropped to just 85%. And between 1973 and 2015, real hourly earnings for this group have fallen by 18%, as Deseret News noted in a new report. 26. At the same time, according to Fed data, middle-class Americans hold about 60% of the total public student loan debt. 27. A couple of weeks ago, the U.S. Department of Agriculture published a report which found that when adjusting to 2022's inflation rate, the cost of raising a child from birth through age 17 in a middle-class family of two working adults is almost $286,000. 28. On the flip side, more than 12.5 million children in the U.S. live in poverty. 29. It is hard to believe, but one out of every six children in the United States is living in poverty in 2022. New data from the Center on Poverty and Social Policy at Columbia University reveals. And 30. If the middle class was actually thriving, we wouldn't have 1.3 million public school children that are homeless, according to the National Center for Homeless Education. There are so many families out there facing financial hardships right now. So many husbands and wives constantly fighting with one another about money without even understanding that the position they're at right now is the result of decades of terrible decisions made by our so-called leaders. Without the middle class, America loses its foundation. And as this group gets smaller and smaller, Poverty is gradually spreading across the nation.